Alrighty, so today we got a freaking Xbox One HDMI retimer chip. We're just gonna be swapping this, like the customer like I said, and he wants to replace, so I'm like, okay. And the, the good thing about one customer tell you to do this is like, you know, they just give you the motherboard and it's like, yeah, I just want this one thing done. And it's usually cheaper. I just tell you it's usually cheaper if you just bring me the motherboard because I don't have to do any, you know, installation or anything. I said installation, disassembly or anything. So this is just a quick, you know, I just replaced the HDMI port or something like that. And it's pretty quick. I don't got to reassemble, disassemble, do all that extra crap. Make sure certain things work. I just switch the thing on the motherboard. So it's usually cheaper. Sorry, something like this, it just costs them $60. Nothing too crazy. Versus it'll be like 100 Um, Maybe, it'll be like 100 Around 100 I can't remember the exact price off the top of my head. Ah, whatever. But yeah, this is quite easy. It's pretty quick. And just to go back to something, a video I posted a while back when I was doing a free HDMI replacements, each HDMI port replacement, you'll never fucking guess the amount of the amount of shit that happened. So like three weeks ago, you know, I was about to start it, you know, had me a PS5. That was the first one. Well, actually, I had a, was it the Xbox? It was Xbox One S. Yes, yeah, the same thing I'm doing now. It's one of the first ones I got. So right when I was about to do it, you know, got home after my overnight job, went to my workstation was about to start on it and guess what the fuck happened my soldering station stopped fucking working out of the middle of the blue and i was unplugging it and replugging it like yo what the hell is going on with this thing first i thought it was the outlet i'm like no way this thing has stopped working because you know i haven't used it in a while so i was like let me it's no fucking way i kept unplugging it replugging it unplugging it tried a different outlet it still didn't fucking work i'm like come the fuck on so huh, well let me order a new one so I ordered a new one, you know, it got here in like four days. <sighs> then don't ask me why I put flux on that either. I have no idea why I did that. So, you know, we're just going to go to the next motherboard and remove the one off that one. And by the way, this is the donor one. I'm just weird. So I don't know why I did the donor one first, but you know, I got to change it up a little bit. So yeah, you know, I get the new station, you know, bring it, bring it here. You know, I'm about to start on it again. You know, I read disassemble it again for the second time i'm about to get started you know i just got off my job at 4 30 a.m you know i got back took a shower did everything about to start it guess what the fuck happened this time for some reason the power in my room specifically it was just my room it wasn't working so you know like my tv wouldn't turn on like nothing worked in here and i'm like oh my god so later i found out it's got this new heater i bought because you know it's the fucking winter time now and it's cold as fucking shit i found out that that didn't work any i said that i didn't work that the power outage and that was too strong for my outlet so it disconnected the something breaker room i don't remember the technical terms he was using so i'm like wow it must be real fate for me not to be able to do this so i'm like well when i turn back on i think like three days later like you know let me try again guess what fucking happened this time my laptop just stopped working it just wouldn't turn on I'm like, yeah, maybe it's just destiny for me not to start this series. Maybe I'm just say F it. So what I want to do, I just wanted to just fixing it for the people regardless. Uh, I, I fixed a PS5, a Xbox One X, um, a PS4, and an Xbox One X just for free. Like I said, I was going to do it regardless. And I didn't want to hold it. You know, Christmas time was coming here. So I just told them, all right, I'm going to just send your stuff back. I'm going to just get it fixed. Uh, one person actually paid me regardless because it was like, you know, they appreciate it. And I, since I didn't get to make, me uh, even make the video, they was pretty understanding. And, I, you know, I really did appreciate it. And, yeah, that's what happened with that. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I should be getting those out. Like, I'm going to restart it this time. And I got another Xbox One S coming. Hopefully, sometime this week. And my the goal is to start uploading at least twice or once a week. Now, so I got all my new stuff ordered. And hopefully, none of that bullshit happens again. But, yeah. Let's go back to the repair. Let's just comment on this a little bit. This is probably one of the easiest things you could possibly do. Literally, all you need is hot air. Take it off. And literally, that's all you need to do. Just hot air. Literally, just blast it on that motherfucker. I believe I use 750 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why every time I get a soldering station, it's always in Fahrenheit. But when other people get theirs, it's always in Celsius. So you just, like, convert that to whatever need be. And, yeah. I don't know why I'm taking so long. And here's the other one that I took off the other, one, off the other motherboard. Um, one thing that I had a pretty difficult time when I first started doing this type of stuff is learning the concept of like it flowing into uh, flowing into. Oh my God! I can't even speak. 
flowing into place. So when I say that, you literally just, you don't got to like put it on exactly. Like, I mean, it'll be better if you did, but like it'll just flow into place. You just need to like, like, you know, when it's all heated up, just like kind of like nudge it a little bit. And like, uh, you'll see me do it in a few seconds. Um, yeah, hold on. This one, like, try to bump it from the, yeah, like right there. Like, I think I'm going to bump it a little bit more. Like you see it in a few seconds, you'll see it move by itself. Like it is gonna just like get right into the place it needs to be. Especially with the flux right there helping it do that. So for something like this, it's hard for me to test it because you know I have to like reassemble it and then put it back into a different Xbox One. I usually don't do that and I told the customer if it doesn't work, just you know, give it back to me. It was a local, it wasn't even a mail in. And, you know, he it wound up working, so you know it was no other issues. So, you know, it's a pretty easy, quick repair. This probably took me like 15 minutes, maybe. It was really, really quick. And a lot of people may ask, oh, where'd you get the donor board from? Or where'd you get the other part from? So when you first start, it's good to just have a donor board laying around. Or like sometimes people will give you something that doesn't work or just fucked beyond belief. And there's no way it's coming back. And you just ask them like, yo, uh, so instead of paying for the repair attempt fee or, some other, or instead of paying for the labor that I did, I can just... You know, keep your console, the motherboard, and you know you don't have to pay for it or any repair. And usually people just opt with that. You know, that's happened to me like three times so far, I believe. Or somebody say, yeah, I mean, if it's just if it's just done for, I guess you could just keep it, and you know, I don't have to repair, pay the you know the fees or anything. This is a good way to get um, uh, good parts. A lot of people abuse that. Like a lot of people will just you know just be lazy and be like, oh, there's a no fix. You know, you could just send it back. You know, if you want me to send it back, you know, I can, but you know, you have to pay the, the fees. You know, I used to be pretty honest with it. You know, if it just really fucked, like, I know one time it was like hella components knocked off the board. So the guy, yeah, just by even taking a glance at this, this thing's done. Or like, you know, if somebody were to fix it, it wouldn't be worth it. Like, because they probably charge you like $300 for all the work because all the shit that's missing. But yeah, you know, that's a pretty easy repair. It's pretty quick. And I will be starting that series, the HDMI port for dummies, sometime this upcoming week. And since I'm recording this technically on Christmas, just wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And hopefully you got something that you wanted. And for the people that sent me the things, I definitely do appreciate it. You know, even though I couldn't make the damn video, that was a whole purpose in it. But, you know, I definitely appreciate you anyway for reaching out and giving me, you know, the experience. And at least I got to help some people. One person was like the PS5 was there for their kid. So I was glad if I could help with something like that. You know, they didn't have to pay a dime, and the person near them was charging them like two seventy. So you just know, nice to save somebody like two hundred seventy dollars. But yeah, hope everyone enjoy your day. Have a blessed day, and we're out.